Research Design Lab. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the features and applications of a digital soil moisture sensor from researchdesignlab.com. Let's start with the kit contains. Basically, the kit comes with two PCBs and two female jumper cables. This here will be the sensor board. And this here will be the probe which goes into the pot containing soil. These are the two female jumper cables. As you can see here, this sensor board has the following headers. At the right hand side here, I am having the TX pin, then the RX followed by the ground connection. Then I have an A out or analog out, again a ground terminal, a plus 5 volt power header and a digital output pin. This LED here indicates the power status and this one over here indicates the digital out pin status. These two headers here are to be connected to the electrodes that go into the pot containing soil. Here we have a PCB as the electrodes. I will connect these two jumper cables supplied with this sensors. If you wish, you could connect a lengthier wire of your choice. Basically, the sensor PCB measures the conductivity between the two electrodes. So as the soil moisture increases, the conductivity across these two electrodes increase. This will be read by the sensor board and the corresponding output will be produced at the output side of the sensor. Now, let us see how we can read the soil moisture TTL data into a computer. Here, I have an FT232 breakout board, which basically is a USB to TTL converter. Now, I shall connect these two boards here. The black wire here goes to ground of the both boards. The green wire goes to plus 5 volt of the boards. The blue wire here goes to TX of FT232 breakout board and RX of digital soil moisture sensor. The yellow wire here gets connected to RX of FT232 breakout board and TX of digital soil moisture sensor. This is how the wires look like once your connections are done. Now, let us view this TTL data. Here, I have used Hyperterminal software for Windows. Set the software to the default settings. You can already see some data here. This number here will be your reference soil moisture level when there is absolutely no moisture contents in your soil. Technically, it means that the conduction across the electrodes is null at this reading. Next, let's see how the value varies when the moisture content in the soil changes. Here, I have collected some sand. You can use any soil or mud instead of sand. Let me show you the serial window as well. Now, I should place these electrodes in the dry sand here. Notice that there is hardly any changes in the reading since the sand is totally dry. I'll now start pouring water into this sand. Notice the serial window as well. As soon as the moisture content in the sand increases, the readings are read and displayed on the computer here. After some time, the value remains constant. Now, if I remove the electrode, the value decreases. You can see the value in the serial window there. Next up, I'll be demonstrating how to use the digital out pin on this board. Let me just reset the board by removing the power cable that is a plus 5 volt and reconnect it back. In the serial window here, you can see some series of instructions popping up. Press shift and question mark key on your system keyboard. Set your lower threshold to 600, set your higher threshold value to 800. Notice the output LED here which has been turned on. Place the probes on the sand over here and start pouring some water into the sand. So basically your green LED or your output LED 
over here will remain on until the moisture level goes above 800 and the output LED will stay that way until the soil moisture level comes below the lower threshold. Here it is 600. Now let us connect this output terminal to a relay. Notice the output LED is on. Here I have used a 12 volt relay so I need to have a power source of 12 volt. I have this regulator power supply board which has 3 voltage level terminals 3.3 volt, 5 volt and 12 volt. I am interested in 12 volt only to connect it to my relay switch here. The green wire here is ground, the yellow is for 5 volt and the blue is for 12 volt. I will connect this to a mini breadboard over here. Let me now make the connections to this relay. Connect the 12 volt of the relay board to the 12 volt on the breadboard. Connect the ground of the relay to the ground of the power supply. Since we have used a separate power source for soil moisture sensor and relay, we need to have a common ground connection between these two. Connect the digital out of the soil moisture PCB to the input of the relay. Supply power to the regulated power supply board. Notice the relay turns off when the soil moisture value increases beyond 800. In fact, this is how we can interface a water pump to a relay instead of pouring water manually like I did. So basically your water pump will remain on until the moisture content passes the higher threshold value. Thank you for watching. Visit us at researchdesignlab.com.